welcome back to my channel so today i will be showing you city carousel and here we, we will be swiping the cities and this type of animation will occur okay so for this we will be using uh, page view dot builder and also the page controller and we will be animating all these things okay the view height will be changing on the basis of the value of scroll so let's get back to our uh, project and uh, this will be uh, this is the right now condition of this project okay so let's add uh, let's remove this debug container which is like this debug and also let's make a city explorer page okay and i have already added images so this cape town image new york image and switzerland image and i have updated my perfect.yml so this line you have to add and then you have to hit the command flutter packages get and flutter packages upgrade okay let's get to the uh, lib folder create a directory with pages create a new dot file okay and uh, create this stateful widget right and now we have this thing now before every anything let's first create the data so for that uh, i will create a model in the model folder and uh, let's create the detail tab detail a uh, model so class detail this will basically have two things string title and a string description i already copied the uh, final so let me just um, copy the content for that we will be doing three things so this content this details content i will be adding into the list image and the color of um, the image and the color of its background we will be adding two list here so final images list which will be a simple list here and first will be asset slash images slash New York second will be Cape Town third will be Switzerland okay similarly three color list also we will be creating so first will be colors dot red just any any color I am taking so uh, it will be shade 100 so that it looks nice shade 50 shade 100 Similarly, with blue, as in dot shade hundred, and then colors dot amber, dot shade fifty might be. It's too shiny, but uh, I want to show you the animation between the colors. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now, let's take the scaffold. Okay. Inside this, you need to have a uh, body, and. Uh, uh, you will add a page view dot builder which takes item builder and it takes nothing but context and index so based on right um, okay so based on this yes based on the item count it will uh, create three items here and we will have uh, so basically we are creating this part right now this triangle uh, this rectangle okay so what I will take is I uh, will just align it or what we can do is we can make a method and pass in the index okay this will return us a item at a time okay so we'll be aligning it with top and uh, center so it will be top center and child will be again a container right now uh, let's just give the color to it first colors dot gray and try to run it let's see uh, what is the output okay there is error no problem we didn't import it 
So <coughs> now if we run it, we can see gray color here. Okay, fine. And can it swipe? Okay, so for that swiping feature, we need to work more on this. So for that, we need to create a controller as well, which will be our page controller. Okay, now for this controller to be there exactly, we will need init state. and uh, page controller equals to page controller yep and initial page will be current page and we can uh, define this current page variable as zero okay yes. and then keep page can be true that is not problem or it can be false or false view port fraction is like see you can see these two part this part this part and this part so how much this one page will take the fraction of this page okay so it will be in our case it can be 0 0.8 okay so we will be creating it pointed if it is one which is it which uh, it can be by default so in that case a uh, whole screen this it the, uh, a single page will cover okay So let's dispose this controller. Right, and let's now initialize this page controller. Fine. So we have initialized this page controller, we have disposed this page controller, and we have used it here. Okay, so three instances. Page is snapping, we want it to be true. So that if 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 this is in half means we have it's called it half so also the the page which has more priority or more probability to come in the center of the screen will come okay then on page changed we can do it later words okay let's do that on page changed um on page changed right and this will have index so let's create a method page change index and here we can change the state and assign current page this will come in use later on so we are just since we are working on page controller and page view so we can write it here but don't forget this that we have written it here okay so whenever there is a change in the page there will be a value value change in the index okay now this item builder has to work on the basis of whatever index is there so if we see um, this okay so child will be our material we will say and elevation is 4 why i am taking elevation because there is elevation here okay because of this and shape we can take a rounded rectangle border right which will have a um, border radius of two borders so bottom left and bottom right okay border radius dot only bottom left it can be I would say 10 and uh, similarly bottom right will be radius dot circular 10 right fine so we have given the border now and uh, <coughs> let's add a child to this <coughs> Fine. so um, what will be there okay so image dot asset and uh, here will be the image list that we created here so index on the basis of index this image list will generate a different different image every time fit can be box fit dot contain or maybe dot fill yes and uh, yep uh, let's see uh, what is the output of this at least so this is the output it has taken complete screen but and uh, okay so this is the thing um, one image came like this so okay let's see what we can do so this container height can be fixed which will be like this okay so height is fixed 
and uh, it can also have some margin sorry so you can have left margin as 30 right as 30 and bottom can be 10 okay now it's shinked mm, okay now um okay okay uh, so uh, this was the output okay so what you need to do is you need to make it false and then uh, this will be shown so uh, as you can see this is the uh, this this is shown here as well as when we scroll left this is shown here okay and it looks pretty good now it's not a problem okay uh, now what we can do is um, let's um, as you can see here uh, there is a slight border okay so what we can do is we can add some padding to our image so that our material card is visible okay so here let's add a padding and that padding can be from left right left 10 right 10 and bottom 10 right let's see what's the output okay so we have got this padding nice padding here and let's it's not visible completely so what we can do is let's reduce the margin and try it if this works okay it works so um since we have added the padding but again you can see there are there is no curve here right but in the design spec this curve is shown inside this if you can see it this is the curve here which is slightly more than this curve okay so let me uh, take it to that it is very simple just wrap it inside uh, i would say clip rect r rect and inside border radius you can give this thing uh, complete okay yep and uh, sorry okay so now let's run it it's running and now you can see a curve here but again the, uh, the curve here is more than this so what we can take is we can make it 15 okay and now you can see a more curve here now it's look it looks great now um, also if you see the output uh, I have not printed anything but let's print the index so that we know that it is working right so when I change the page flutter 1 okay and this is 2 and again 1 okay one thing more can you see this type of thing clamping so this physics is bouncing physics so for to change that actually we will have to change that so to change that we can go to this uh, page view and change the physics okay it can be clamping clamping is called physics right and now if you run it you can see that we cannot do further scrolling on the left and similar with the first item we cannot scroll here on the right hand side okay so um, now the main part comes is how you will change the size of this uh, when once this is in focus the size is 600 once this is not in focus it should be smaller than this okay so for that we will need to r record how much distance this scroll is happening okay and based on that we need to transform the size of these widgets okay so let me just uh, do that okay we are in the item builder which is called every time whenever there is a change in the page or whenever there is a change in this uh, index okay so whenever we land in item builder we have a very special uh, property which is inside page controller dot page okay I would like to explain you first how this value changes 
because without knowing this value and the impact of scrolling on this value we cannot move further okay so remove this I mean, don't don't worry about this exception it will be removed i will show you how it will be removed why it is coming i will explain you okay so initially it is 0, 0.0 and 0, 0.0 why it is getting printed two times i think you know the answer item builder right now has two items in focus and it's a property of page view that it builds the current page and the next coming page so item builder is getting called two times for index 0 and for index 1 this also I can show you let me do the index and this is very important part in this complete tutorial and uh, without knowing this I don't think uh, we can go further ahead after this not much of the coding is required only the logic is required so please uh, be here and understand the logic okay for first time error will come don't worry about that but see this output for index 0 it means for this the value is right now 0 and for this also it is 0, 0.0 so this proves that page controller dot page is scroll value because when I scroll see the output when I scroll and leave it okay sorry it's not getting printed but uh, I will do something to make it printed okay maybe why it's not getting printed okay maybe now yeah so as you can see we got this 0 0 0.64 0 0.64 for this and for 2 it's 0 0.88 okay now let me uh, do one thing else uh, let me wrap it in animated item builder animation builder and animation is our, oh yeah 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 so I missed this trick here okay so basically this won't get printed because uh, we need the page controller value on which this animated builder will use this page controller value and build the widget okay so our builder will be nothing but context and the widget right or you can take it as child because widget is also accessible uh, here so it would be a ambiguity so let's come back to this and now I will be printing this and we will be returning this child okay or you can do it in another way you can return child and child will be this okay so you are returning a child and this child is this child okay now let's print this and observe the value changes okay so initially it is 0, 0.0 now when I scroll see the values see the values it's confusing right it will be confusing so let me print it only in terms of index 0 what happens to the value when we are taking considering this first element okay let's run it complete reload okay forget about this errors there is no issue now if we I scroll left these values are getting increased as you can see as you can see here 0 0.00 0 0.05 11.16 so this value gets increased okay and it goes to 1 if I do reverse it decreases it goes to 8 0 1 7 1 7 1 6 1 6 1 6 and 2 0 okay so when I scroll it quickly here it goes to 1 when I do reverse it goes to 0 again for index 0 and for index 1 same values will be printed okay so now what we need is we eventually what we will be doing we will be changing the height of this uh, container by some by multiplying with some value okay if I would say um, we have to have value equals to 1 if it is in the center okay so initially let's take the value as 1 and remove this now what you need to do is um, you need to calculate 
um, okay so if this I will explain you why we need if page controller dot position have dimensions so basically in the initial when we load this screen else will be called because initially this th this returns false okay this is my observation so I am explaining you this now we need to get this value like this page controller dot page minus index so this will return me something I would uh, would say mm, when I scroll this will return me something 0 0.26 minus 0 which will be 0.26 okay now we need to subtract this by 1 this can be negative also in some cases so we need to take value dot absolute so that the value is positive always and we need to now decide what will be our factor to size this widget it, it will be half of this so we will take point half okay then when we scroll it very quickly this value sometimes goes beyond 1.005 1.0010 so that's why we need to clamp it between 0 and 1 so this value will never be more than I would say uh, this value will not be more than uh, 1 and will not be less than 0 okay now this is our value what we need to do is uh, we will take it um, okay so yes we need to apply uh, we need to put this value somewhere okay and uh, this value will be like 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 so this value has to be multiplied with this height because once it will be the value will be 1 it will be full height if it is 0 0.8 it will be here which will be when point 0.8 will be the value when it is in between of the scroll and point 0.5 when it will be it will be multiplied to this height and the height of this will become 300 okay so let's align let's put this under align again and uh, yeah similar type of thing we have to do basically uh, we will be removing align from here okay and also this container can be removed yep so let's put it container and the child will be child right and uh, height of this and margin can be taken now we can remove this also now material will come in the, come here okay now height will be curves dot ease out or ease in anything you can take easing dot transform value into 600 right now when value is 0.5 height will be 300 Point four, point four into 600 which is to um, I guess 150 or sorry it will be 0 0.4 2, 240 something so sorry if I have done wrong maths but it can be 0.4 so okay fine so if if I am not wrong um, we have everything here which we had earlier and now if I run it let's see the output so initially this is very small and when I scroll this gets increased similar with this right yeah so this is a thing now if I complete start this okay let me just uh, lesser this margin also and now complete start it and see the output since if you have understood this concept it will be very easy in future okay for further animations it will be very easy
see this this is the issue huh? because in the initial state this returns false so we need to do something here right so what we will do is we will write a line and we know that our current page is 0 and our second page is 1 so we need to worry about only two things we will copy this complete and this return can go to here so th this will also return something and else will also return something and uh, there is some error Let me just revert it. This was fine. Okay, okay, okay. I I copied extra. Okay, so this return will go inside if. Okay. And then. Yep. So. Yeah. This margin is okay. Okay. So we have to work on this else part instead of this curves dot this value we need to uh, check what is the index if index equals to 1 or uh, yeah if index equals to 0 uh, we do value or if it is 1 which is case of this we do value into 0.5 so we make it half just as simple as that now if we run it let me do it fresh start it's taking time but no worries we are almost uh, complete with the logic so this is the uh, start now it's working and when I do this it is crossed right so this is the thing that I wanted to explain you. Now we'll work on the other parts and uh, yeah, quickly work on that. So uh, one thing more, if you can see that whenever I was scrolling, the image was sort of getting distorted. So instead of box fit dot fill, I have allowed that box fit. It should fit with the height so that it it doesn't distort. Now if you can see, it's it's not distorting. It's just increasing in the height. Okay. And also there is a little bit parallax effect inside as you can see when I go left this uh, image gets a little bit moved inside okay anyways let's get back to our page view dot builder inside the scaffold add the bottom content okay quickly so let's uh, put it inside our column where we have children so our first child will be this page view right and the second will be our container so it will be nothing but details text or we can say details builder which will be built on the basis of index which it would say this can be a column right so based on this image this is this is the text text and line and read more and some spaces in between so let's take text widget and you can use our details list which is already defined in this okay it's not defined sorry I'm extremely sorry uh, let me just copy it and do it for you so this is the uh, details list this title will be title here yep. okay so you need to 
actually have a constructor here. Yep. So we have this uh, details list now, and we can quickly uh, use the. Okay. Title and style will be text style. It can be font size will be twenty four. Font weight can be okay, and then uh, there will be a size box with height of twenty. I will quickly do it. Let's take it black and uh, so this is done now index we need to pass so it will be current page let's run it let's see how it looks okay it doesn't look <laughs> okay i know why so okay so i think this has to be inside our expanded widget no so there is error okay okay size is missing so okay so this has to be inside a container with height equals to 600 so our page view has to be inside a container okay yeah so now it's working but there are two things oh sorry so i copied directly so it should be read more and now if i run it it looks like this which is not a problem because if we add a size box here with some very small height this looks good and also there has to be a container which can give some padding to it. All maybe twenty. Okay, there is some issue. So let's give it only Widget must be placed directly in that flex widgets. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So let's copy this. Move this. Now it's okay. So expand it should be the topmost in the column. Okay, now it looks good. And we can have some top padding as well. Okay, fine. We will we will definitely modify it. Don't worry. If I change it, the text is getting changed. But if you see properly, text goes down and comes up. So there is a and also there is a op opacity change. So for this animation, what we can do is again we can wrap it inside animated builder. Okay, and again our animation will be our page controller, and our builder will be again 
same uh, what we did for you know uh, if you remember for the top part what we did similarly we have to do here and now uh, this complete will be inside here, okay so we will be copying this logic only this part we are doing and uh, yes we will be copying it and putting it inside details builder inside this just before it returns yep okay and how we will use this value so as you know this value fluctuates from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 so we can do one thing we can first of all work with the opacity thing opacity will be same uh, the value right if i'm not wrong so let's run it first okay now if i scroll can you see the opacity going dim for new york city and coming up for cape town and similarly going down for cape town and coming for switzerland yes so opacity is working now we need to work on something called transform dot or translate dot transform dot translate what it takes is offset now uh, we need to change the offset based on the value okay so our offset has to be our animated value no, it has to be just the offset so let's go with this what is the offset how it works let's see so it is 0, 0.0 if i change it to 50 this new york city comes down and that's what we want actually so based on our value value will be from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so our initial position will be 50 plus value into 50 i think this should work because what will the value when what will be the position of this thing when the value is 1 that means when this is visible so it will be 100 right which is which will be wrong so let's take it let's do it like this okay so when value is no 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 sorry 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 so when value is 1 it is 50 plus 50 100 which means it is not here but it is little bit blue down so 60 value will be there when value is 0 it should go down so this should increase to uh, something i'm doing wrong maybe minus sign will do it okay so when the value is 1 it is minus 50 10 minus 50 it means it is on top of this minus 40 here somewhere starting from here but if value is 0 it's right here okay so let me just run it if if you can understand what i'm saying so see it moved up so we can do like this because the value is 1 50 plus minus 50 so it becomes 0 offset is 0 then okay now if i do it like this new york city goes down and cape town comes up see this is the thing that i wanted to do here right so i think this is okay for you but you can definitely do it 100 but it will be more up then at the initial stage so you can I would say keep it 100 but then again you have to make it 100 also make this also 100 sorry so now you check it okay now it goes more down and comes more up so this is okay now what we have to do with the color behind it because uh, this is the last part and uh, the color is also getting changed slowly so for that also you can do one thing you can yep what you can do is you can put it put this column inside a stack and it will have multiple children and uh, our one child will be this column no problem in that but my another child will be animated container yep and uh, yes 
its any its duration will be somewhere like 500 and uh, color will be my colors list which is not here where it is color list okay so where is the animated controller okay here it is color list index yep so what is the property of this uh, animated container is whatever color is there it will change to a different color whenever there is a change in the color so if it is blue right now and if changes to yellow there will be a nice animation while changing the color okay as you can see colors are there now if i change it there is a change in the color right so this is what i was doing so this is the end of the video guys and i will be putting this on git if you have liked this video please uh, hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel okay and yeah thank you uh, i would i would think i have taken this video in a nice speed taken much time to explain you the concept i have uh, understood it so much so many times so that i am able to explain you better way and uh, yeah so if you have any doubts regarding this please let me know in the comment section and uh, do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you are never um, missing the content which i am posting okay thank you guys bye